Hola. Hi, hi. Happy Friday. Friday. Yes, it's Friday. It's a busy day today. I want to make sure I see your chats. Hmm. It's been a while since I broadcasted like out and about from my phone. I am a volunteer for a lot of nonprofits. And today I am, um, this is so cute. I'm at uh, the Assistance League. And we give, we give away, we raise money and we give away school uniforms. So cute, right? To children that can't afford it. So we have a meeting here today because we are starting a cultural arts program, which is, you know, being in the arts, I like to volunteer on nonprofits so I can help get the arts into wherever. Low network connection. Hopefully you can um, see this. Um, should be a problem with the network connection. But anywho, I'll just keep on going. Um, tell me if you're here because I have a hard time. Uh, ooh, that was interesting. Seeing, hold on, seeing, seeing the chat. <laughs> there, we'll brighten it up a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Wait, there we go. Let's see if that helps. It's kind of dark in here. Okay, so good to see you. We we are doing Facebook Lives today. I mean, this week, uh, all week long because. Very exciting, drum roll, please. I can't see, wait, maybe if I go. Oh, no, that wasn't it, okay. Don't swipe, don't swipe, because it loses everybody. Hmm, okay, so there's Kendra. Kendra's watching, yay. So um, I have a, there we go, I think we're good now with connection. But as I was saying, I like to volunteer for nonprofits, so we have a meeting tonight to help start a cultural, um, program here in my community that I'm super proud of. So um, I just, right before our meeting starts, I thought I'd take our 15 so minutes. We're going to do these Facebook Lives and we're, we're making them um, pretty quick uh, because enrollment opens. Hi, Doug. Yay. Enrollment opens into the Hollywood Screen Readers course tomorrow. Very exciting. So we open it within our um, masterclass tomorrow. So um, we'll tell you all about it, but we we cover so much in the masterclass. And I always want to preface everything that, so all this coming week, I mean, we have the masterclass tomorrow. We're taking Sunday off. And then all week, Monday, we have another masterclass. And then um, the rest of the week, Tuesday through Thursday, we have live Facebooks at five every day. And then on Friday night, we have another workshop at five and then another workshop on Saturday. And then enrollment closes on Sunday. So we're opening it up to bring in new students for the screen reader course. <gasps> Movement. Oh, thank you. Stay. Oh, that'll be a challenge, right? Stay still. Settle. I want a better background. I can't help myself. Thanks, Anson. Thanks, director. That's what I need. I need a director. Thank you. <laughs> I need that more often. So we're super excited. So that's why we're on. We're not. This isn't our total, our typical time, but we are jumping on at five o'clock, pretty much uh, today, and then pretty much every day next week, twice in the master class, and the rest will be on Facebook. So wanted to say that. Today we're going to talk a little bit about taking the plunge because so many people are considering. We have so many new people and so we wanted to kind of talk about three things, my lord, about, do you get the reference? <laughs> three, three things about to consider when you're taking the plunge into something new because a lot of people come in here and they're like, what is this? Is this a thing? Is being, reader, being a reader really a thing? So we wanted to kind of talk about three things to think about as you move forward and kind of how it fits within gatekeepers. So if you're thinking of taking a new plunge, so I think I'm wondering if when it says, let's go outside, maybe that will help. Ooh, something smells good out here. <laughs> Can you smell that? Consistently, <laughs> yay. Um, so I'm staying still, Anson. <laughs> so um, first thing to consider when you are thinking of doing something new. It says it's recording it, so I have a feeling that when it plays it back, if you're missing something now, hopefully you can watch the replay and it'll play it back. So if someone can see that, put that in the chat if you heard me say that. If not, you'll find it later. So three, three things to consider. One is that when you're trying something new, um, oh, I didn't know that. Well, I'll learn something every day. I can see it. You're doing a fine job. <laughs> so put, put in the chat that if it, I don't know if it matters. Anyway. Um, if it does cut out, I think it's, it says record whenever it cuts out. So I think it's recording anything that drops out anyway. Um, 
we want people as they come into this new experience and you're considering something, the first thing that you should do is research it, which is why we're giving so much content away. So all week this week, we'll be giving away, I mean, we have so much content. We're starting our YouTube channel. We give away, it's super noisy out here. We're giving, it's like, this is a director's nightmare right here. There's no, the light's weird, the sound's bad. <laughs> Back it up. Um, so you, you want to research what you're doing, which is one of the reasons why we do these Facebook Lives. <laughs> you didn't know you are going to have a dance party, did you? Um, so that's why we do these Facebook Lives. It's why we give away so many handouts. We want you to research this. We want you to understand what this is all about. We are not trying to just rope you into something. We definitely don't want that. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. This is not a welcome to Hollywood scheme. This is not a scheme at all. As a matter of fact, it's a lot of work. So we want to, you to know that going in up front. So that's why we're doing Facebook Lives. That's why we give you so much, so much information because we feel like if you're going to take the plunge into something new, you should, you should research it first. Huge believers in that. The second thing, my lord, <laughs> this makes me laugh every time. The second thing is that um, a, there's a lot of noise out there, especially, you know, this is an online business. There's a lot of noise in the online space, and you kind of see this on Facebook a lot of, just quit your job, man. You hate your job. Quit your job. Go work for yourself. Quit your job. You know, take the plunge. Quit your job. And I, I think that's irresponsible, you know, these people that rent a, you know, Maserati and stand in front of it, you know, whatever. But I think there's a lot, there's a lot of just, you know, noise about doing that. And we kind of feel like, no, 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 embrace your job. Like, know that that job is there for a reason, even if you hate it, even if it's something that you don't really want to do. Embrace it, let it know it, you know. Own that it's providing something of value to you. The more that you have gratitude for that job, the more that you look at the things about that job that serve you, that help you, the more you can then, you know, fit things through the cracks, which is why reading is so cool is because you can start to explore it, reading and writing. You can be like Anson, who's just been cranking out that screenplay, working on it, and then working backwards, <laughs> editing, <laughs> totally, you know, getting pages done, taking pages away. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? But being able to fit re reading and writing in the cracks while you maintain that day job that holds you, your security. Because I think a lot of people, they, they do this thing of like, woohoo, I quit my job. And they think that, especially people who have always worked for someone else, who have always had an employer, and then they quit their job and they think they're going to just go and start their own thing. It's really dicey and it's a lot harder than you might think. So that's one of the things that we cover quite a bit is basically how to be an entrepreneur. As a reader, you're going to need to know how to set your own schedule, how to make your own work, how to do all of that. So research it and then embrace where you're at so that then you can move forward. So that then it's not this weird thing where you're suddenly floating out there and you're under all this pressure and stress. And there might be pressure and stress in whatever job you're in. You might not like what job you're in. But if you can embrace that as knowing that it's a stepping stone to something else, relax about it. It might not be exactly what you want to be doing. And then you can explore this, whatever, anything. But that's kind of our second thought with, with you know, kind of taking the plunge. Because we do get a lot of people. We have a lot of people and a lot of screenwriters that are in transition. Like they either lost their job or they quit or they're retired. And we have a lot of that in this program. And I think because this is something you can do from anywhere. You do it from home. You make your own hours. It's awesome that way. But we want to make sure that you're, you know, that you're not taking this plunge just willy-nilly. That you're like, you know, taking steps and that we support you in that. We're not trying to say, just, you know, just quit your job, man. It's going to be awesome. Um, it is going to be awesome. But yes, it doesn't happen, as my smart partner says, overnight. It's a process. And all of the things that we teach in terms of the entrepreneurial side of being a reader, you can apply to anything. And we talk about that quite a bit. Like we have one of our screen readers teaches chess. And we were like, use these skills that we teach because we teach marketing. We do Facebook, you know, how to do Facebook. We do all kinds of stuff that you would think has nothing to do with reading, but it has everything to do with self-promotion and everything to do with, you know, kind of having your own thing. And so we're saying, you know, use those skills for whatever you're doing right now to help support you while you're figuring this all out. So that's the second thing. And then the third thing, my Lord, is to trust. Trust your gut. Relax. Enjoy the journey, right? Life is what happens when we're busy making other plans. <laughs> Love that. So just like, you know, Enjoy it. Have a dance party in the parking lot of Assistance League. <laughs> you never know when dance parties might happen. And just enjoy the journey and make it so that, you know, along the way, we, we try to have fun in here. I know there's a lot of 
what is it? M mambo jumbo? <laughs> mumbo jambo? I think it's supposed to be mumbo jumbo, but I like mambo jambo personally. Okay, sorry. Can't help myself. Settle. Hold still. Stream. Focus. Settle. Okay, so I think mumbo jumbo tango wango is fantastic. <laughs> But it's also, I understand, there's a lot, I know that I screw around a lot and sometimes it might seem hard to pick out the, the things, but hopefully, because I've seen some comments that are like, oh. and then someone's saying like, why does she say squirrel? <laughs> What's up with that? So, but we're serious about, you know, having fun. We are serious about having fun. Life should be fun. Play is my favorite word. I was interviewed the other day and they said, what's your favorite word? And I said, play, like it is my favorite word. Ha! Ha! <laughs> says my partner. And he and I, we've had some really stressful things happen along the way, and we've still managed to, like, have a sense of humor about it. That's part of it. So just trust your gut. You know. You know when something's right. You know when something's weird. Trust it, you know? And if this feels weird to you, then trust it because it's not going to be right. It's not a good fit. If it feels like you feel like you're home, which a lot of people say, we feel like we're home and we're having a great time, and we really do want to support you in whatever it is that you're doing. So in the, in the uh, you know, you know, read my mind. In the comment thing here, that's the technical fancy turn for it, the comment thing in my jigger, um, I put the link to the pre-training videos. That's a way that you can research, the first step, is research, research things. We have these pre-training videos. Um, there's three of them. You could just binge watch, kind of like Netflix. <laughs> Not like Netflix, but you know, there's three videos. So you can watch and kind of get an idea. We talk about what is a reader, we talk about career paths, and we talk about prepping for the master class, which is tomorrow. The first one is tomorrow at noon. The link is also for that is here as well. So the dude abides, right? We should have some white Russians. I don't know why I went with a California accent on that. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but because he's the dude. So yes. Do your research by doing the pre-training videos. The link is here. Have fun with us. Get your research. Figure it out by joining us with the masterclass, which is at noon tomorrow. We have so much fun in there. We, we go about an hour. It kind of depends on how many questions that people have. We cover everything that you need to know. And then you can take that information and run with it. You can run with it by joining the screen reader course and run with it with us, or you can run with it on your own. But we will give you the things that you need to know so that then you can decide how you want to proceed. And whatever, you know, more power to you. Whatever feels right for you. Stay in gatekeepers, do it on your own, leave it all together, come in the screen reader course. There's just so many ways you can go trust your gut and do it that's really all it's about right so and if for some reason you can't make it tomorrow I also posted the link so that you could pick a different date because we have three more dates available because we're trying to make it available for everyone and then for those of you I noticed some people were posting that they're having trouble um, with Wi-Fi during because these are not during business hours typically um, we will be in here doing the Facebook lives as well so that will kind of supplement everything and we're giving away a ton of free information ton of stuff we do it every Wednesday regardless throughout the year but now when enrollment opens it'll be opening tomorrow and we'll be open for a week and a day very exciting it's always so exciting so if you don't have any questions, then we'll see you in the workshop tomorrow at noon, Saturday at noon, Saturday. So if you're seeing this Friday, the 8th of February, it is tomorrow at noon. If you're seeing this another time, just go to our Facebook page and you can see when the next one is. All right. We will talk to you tomorrow. Have a good day. Thanks, you guys.